Hello, I'm Captain Doug Stanford with the Texas Fishing Tips. This is your weekly fishing report. We've been catching a lot of trout over in uh, Packard Channel lately on shrimp. And then we've been catching black drum over here in Fledo Cut. If you get down there and you'll put your trolling motor down, you can go up and down through here and you can find those black drum. And wait till about 9 or 10 in the morning when the sun gets up, you can see the schools. They're very spooky. You want to throw your shrimp free line out in front of them, about five to 10 feet in front of them. You don't want to throw it at them, you'll spook them. Same way back over here in Morse Cummings Cut. And uh, we've been catching a lot over here in Island Moorings as well. Any of these cuts will hold some black drum up in there. Right now with this colder weather, these fish are pulling back down in these channels. All down through here, we've been getting some in South Bay. Not as many as I was hoping they would, but they may pick up later. We've also been catching lots of flounder up and down the shrimp channel, either sides of it. Also the Corpus Christi ship channel, on, usually on live mullet. Uh, shrimp will catch a lot of perch, but they also catch a lot of the flounder too. Mud minnows work very well. Lydian channel, all up down through here, either side we've been catching lots of flounder. Now you got to remember, in November, you only get to keep two flounder per person. No gigging. That's why it's going to be so much better on the flounder right now. We've been catching fish all up and down the shrimp channel on shrimp. There's black drum mixed in there along with redfish. If you'll move over here in the Hog Island hole, we've been pitching over into the sand flats, sand pockets, use cut mullet, cut pin perch, catching a lot of reds. Over here at Corpus Christi Bayou, we've been catching lots of little trout. There's a few good ones mixed in. You gotta wade through them. Uh, mostly on shrimp, you can use jigs, artificials, but they've been back here in this deeper cut, there'll be some black drum mixed in there with them. Big bayou, same way. Over here, Turtle Bayou, we've been catching some redfish up there, just set up in your sand pockets, use your cut mullet, your cut perch, and just wait them out, and you'll get some reds. Over here at Paul's Mott, been catching a few black drum, a few redfish, not a whole lot. Allen's bite, same way. Most of them have been small, but they've been a few fish there, some action. Caught a few trout back in here the other day, but they wasn't that good. Back down over by the Fina dock, when the weather gets real bad, we had them bad northers. Uh, we got in here, we limited out probably two, three times right here. A bunch of them was 28, 28, 38 inch redfish. They were cut mullet, cut pin perch. Usually live mullet works, but for some reason that day, they wanted cut bait. Out here at the end of the jetties, we've been catching a lot of redfish back in there, but you got to be careful. Make sure you anchor that boat by the bow. Do not anchor from the stern. One wave will turn you over. I've heard some reports of tarpon being caught at night out here at the jetties. I haven't done it myself, but I've heard quite a few reports of it. I did see, however, though, a lot of kingfish out here on the north side of the north jetty jumping. I mean, we seen them for probably two hours one day. They were just flinging themselves out of 15, 20 feet in the air. Just beautiful just to watch. You wanna go get some kings, there they are. Congratulations to Emily Hurt. We're gonna be sending you one of these lovely t-shirts from texasfishingtips.com. And to David Guerrero, our first tackle winner. Look at all this wonderful stuff you're gonna get. We're gonna be sending that to you soon. Thank you for all your entries. Thank you for entering. And also, don't forget to go to texasfishingtips.com and enter for your chance to win some more tackle and t-shirts.